Okay, so let's break down this verse. Hebrews 3, 12 through 14. Take care, brothers, lest there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart leading you to fall away from the living God. But exhort one another every day, as long as it's called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. For <clears throat> we have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original confidence firm to the end. Okay, so a lot of questions pop up from this verse. Uh, the first of which is, who's he writing to? Take care, brothers. Is he writing to save people there? Uh, lest there be in any of you an unbelieving evil heart? Whoa, how's that possible? Well, we'll come back to that. Uh, leading you to fall away from the living God? Wait, is this verse saying you can lose your salvation? Is he talking to brothers and saying you can lose your salvation? What is this verse saying at its core? Let's just focus in on the last sentence. For we have come, now that's in the past tense, we have come to share in Christ if, that's the condition, if indeed we hold our original confidence to the end. That is in the future. What this seems to say is, if we hold our original confidence to the end in the future, then we have come to share in Christ. If we don't, then we haven't come to share in Christ in the past. Rather, the people who will fall away in the future, well, they prove that they have had an evil, unbelieving heart all along. To put it simpler, if we endure to the end, we got saved. If we don't endure to the end, we never got saved. We never came to share in Christ. Now, let me give two things this verse doesn't say. Number one, it doesn't say that if we hold our original confidence to the end, then we earn salvation. It doesn't say that. Rather, it proves that we were saved. Number two, Second thing this verse doesn't say, it doesn't say that if we don't hold our original confidence to the end, that we had come to share in Christ, but then we were kicked out or then we lost our salvation. It doesn't say that either. If we fall away, it's not from being in Christ. It's a different situation. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, so what about the questions that popped up at the beginning? Is this addressed to brothers as in believers? Well, you'll see this a lot of times with Bible writers. He's addressing the church as a whole, those who claim to be brothers. Some are true brothers and some are not. How do you know that? Well, because true brothers don't have an evil, unbelieving heart. Okay, so what does it mean, fall away from the living God? Is that losing your salvation? If non-believing people with an evil heart fall away, they're proving that they were never in Christ. Now, they may fall away from an experience with church or around Christ, perhaps, but it's not from sharing in Christ, which this verse says, always results in us holding firm to the end. So, in light of this, we're to take care and exhort one another not to be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. This may turn somebody, this exhortation may turn somebody with an evil, unbelieving heart into somebody who believes and repents. This also will serve to encourage those believers who have come to share in Christ. It's a means of helping them hold firm to the end. Four, those that endure to the end will be saved. Or to say it another way, those endure to the end because they're saved.